then on December 28th, a momentous day for this wolf and for California, he crossed the border into our state, into Siskiyou County. He was there for, uh, I think, perhaps a week, continued traveling a little further east and south. He's now in Lassen County, and as you pointed out, the reason we know where he is is he does have a radio collar on him that the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife fitted on him last February when they captured him, and through that GPS collar and satellite tracking, the agencies are able to know where he is at any given time. What is the uh, theory about why he left the pack? Oregon Wolf 7 is doing what teenagers do. When they get to be 17, 18 years old, they're tired of hanging out with mom and dad. It's time to go out and look for mates and territory of their own. For wolves, that age tends to be about one and a half, two and a half years old. And he was just about two and a half years old when he took off from his pack. So he's looking for territory of his own. He's looking for a mate. Um, we don't know if he'll find one. It is possible that there are other wolves in California that are not collared, and he could find a mate. It's possible that if there are other wolves in California, he still may not find them. He may continue on this trek for quite some time, or he may run into trouble in the form of being hit by a car or shot by someone. Uh, all of these things can happen with wolves that are dispersing. When a wolf is hunting on his own, that can be dangerous, too. Uh, wolves like to prey on big animals like elk and deer, and a wolf hunting by himself is really subject to getting kicked in the ribs or smashed in the head, and he could die that way hunting by himself as well. Or he could get lucky and he could find the girlfriend he's looking for. That's what we're hoping. I'm Aruk Weiss, again, Northern California representative for the California Wolf Center. Mark Stouffer is an ecologist and special assistant to the director of the California Department of Fish and Game. Mark Stouffer, good to have you on our program. I'm glad to be here, Warren. Uh, is it uh, conceivable that the California Department of Fish and Game could uh, acquire a female wolf and uh, take it someplace where uh, it might be found by uh, Oregon Wolf Number 7? Well, first, we have no plans to do that. And secondly, it's very unlikely, and <clears throat> a couple of reasons. One is, even if we were able to acquire a wolf in a state like Idaho where they're not federally listed, if we brought a female to California, once we brought that wolf across the state line, it would be federally listed as endangered, and we would have to comply with the Endangered Species Act. And that you know, entails a process that I'm not sure how it would unfold. Second reason is this re act of reintroduction would be a project that would be subject to the California Environmental Quality Act. We'd actually have to likely prepare an environmental impact report, do a lot of public outreach. That takes both time and money. Third point would be that some uh, some of our northern California communities, I'll, I'll just say that there are mixed feelings about this wolf and future wolves. There would have to be a lot of outreach that would have to be done uh, before that could happen. And then there are other logistical and pragmatic sorts of considerations. I mean, first of all, how do we get him, how would, how would we get the female close to OR7? Nobody has seen this wolf in four months and a thousand miles. So there is uh, there are bureaucratic barriers and there's uh, real life uh, as well. 